All right, everyone, uh, today pretty excited. I got a package that I've been waiting for. Now, I, I picked this up along with one of the Black Friday sales, but this is uh, what I had been hoping for. I mentioned in the previous video. Uh, this is hopefully my Panasonic uh, 100 to 400 uh, Leica lens. And it's probably gonna be in here. I think I got another small box behind here. Um, that one should have a zoom, H1 zoom, microphone uh, recorder in there. I did pick that up just because of the fact that uh, in some instances I do want to do some separate audio and I can use a lapel mic for that. But yes, this was my lens. So we have the uh, Panasonic 100 to 400 millimeter uh, f4 to 6.3. Now this lens is uh, in conjunction with Leica, so it uses Leica glass. Uh, as you know, that's completely high end. You know, the best there is. Um, the reason I'm so excited about this is in getting into more outdoor photography and things like that, the 35 to 100 I have, and although it's a fantastic lens at a fixed 2.8, it just doesn't have the zoom capability I'm looking for for some of the outdoor stuff. So in the micro four thirds with that crop factor, this is actually a, a 2 to 800 millimeter lens. So it gives you a ton of range. And uh, let's get this box cracked open and see what we're working with. All right, so that's everything. I think I might have opened that up from the bottom, but it's all good. All right, got your uh, basic instructions here. These aren't really gonna tell you anything too much except basic usage. Um, they are gonna probably go into the uh, focus and lock ring. In here are the accessories. So on the lens itself, you're going to notice that it has a uh, extendable collar for, <coughs> for itself. And you also can put um, a few other things on it here. We'll touch on those. So in here's the case. I'm not sure if I'll use the case just because I have a camera bag and I have some other uh, travel tools, but it's, it's your basic lens bag. You know, you put that lens in there and you can draw a string it at the top. Like I said, probably not ever gonna use that, but it comes with it. Um, the lens itself, when you feel it, it is heavy. And then of course uh, you have your ring here. Now the ring itself is also an aluminum. So uh, this attaches to the front of the lens, even though it has that retractable collar, it's got this screw here so you can extend it uh, to give yourself a little more shade. And then the lens itself, which I'm really excited about. Now in some of the other reviews and things I've watched, there's uh, been some talk about how the focus ring is a little stiff, but what I've seen is that people are not completely unlocking. And you can see here that there is the focus lock ring right there and that's going to be just at the top um, right there so you know all the way locked all the way unlocked the cool thing about this is you can do it at any focal distance or any focal length so you know if you're at 200 and you want to lock you can lock it down and you're not going to move at all um, I do want to say that this does feel really smooth uh, it is a trombone style extension um, now you do have to understand that the Build quality itself is very sturdy. You can tell that there's quite a few elements in here. Uh, it is made out of the uh, aluminum. Um, color is good. It's not going to really show too much uh, wear or, you know, oils from your hands, fingerprints, things like that. And I know some of the lenses are a little glossy that show it, but really impressed with the build so far. The manual focus ring is smooth. Uh, you can tell it has just the right amount of resistance. And then again, your extension here for the zoom again it does take more work than normal but you have to realize look at the focal length you're covering i mean you're, you're covering hundreds of millimeters here and it's got to extend uh in order to be able to keep such a small form factor to get you all the way out to get that reach that you want uh the other things you're going to see here on the bottom you do have the ability for uh tripod uh connection here and these screw right in i do like the design on this one because it's got the knob, the, the textured knob, which is a little easier to use than sometimes when you need an Allen key or anything else like that, but this gives you a little bit better balance, so it's not putting all the pressure on the camera, so if you are using a monopod or a tripod. Now, one cool feature about this lens is this knob on the side, and the reason I'm going to show you that that's cool is if you are using your camera, we'll make some room here. Now, I can't exactly show you because I'm using my camera to fil film this, but if you're using your camera on the mount, one cool thing on this lens is that when you loosen this knob, 
it's built into the collar to where you can rotate your camera. Um, you know, if you're going from landscape to portrait and it keeps your controls in the same position in relation to the collar. So you can, like I said, rotate from landscape to portrait, the whole barrel of the lens, and it's gonna keep the collar here in the same position so you have access to uh, whether you want the power optical image stabilization on or off, which I'm gonna leave on all the time, autofocus and manual focus. And then this is where it gets a little interesting. So you do have a full range of autofocus, or you can cut it down to five meters to infinity. And what that does is it actually gets it a little sharper at varying distances because it cuts that range down. So unless you're gonna do some really close shots or some macro type of stuff, you may wanna just leave it at the five meters to infinity and you're gonna give yourself a much wider range with some sharper images. So uh, in the review of this, I'll put in some pictures and have the ability to show you some uh, in the field examples. But again, this is just the open boxing. Um, we are a 72 millimeter up front. I've got the filter on the way, so hopefully that gets to me in the next day or two. Uh, I'm gonna put on a combo UV and circular polarizer filter from Hoya. Uh, I like it because it's not as dense as a normal polarizer, so it will cut down a little bit just because I'm gonna be in pretty good light every time I use this, but I do like the combination of the UV filter just because, uh, especially with this thing carrying a $17.99 price tag, you do wanna protect that glass. So again, uh, here's the extendable collar, you know. And again, you've got your your barrel out here, you know, so you can go all the way out to uh, 400, come back in, and then here, this guy screws right on top of that collar that you can extend. I'm actually going to lock this uh, barrel here, so when I pull on this collar, it doesn't move, but goes in and out. And so you have that flexibility to make it a little longer, a little shorter, and that can vary for you. So again, super happy with the build quality on this. You know, the back end is going to be all metal solid construction just so it adheres and uh, is fixed to the camera really well. And I can't wait to get out and use this thing. So if you've got any questions, please drop them below. Uh, make sure to uh, comment, like, share this video, and subscribe. Again, hope you enjoy it. And this is the Panasonic 100 to 400 millimeter uh, Leica Varial Lens. Thanks. Go tell your friends.